All right, Shalom, Saints. Good evening, Israel. This is the Brother Awar Ba coming back to you again with a quick epistle. Uh, before I get started, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rakakwadash. That is giving all praise to the Most High God and His Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit. Okay. Um, I also want to give honors to you brothers that are scattered abroad. That are waking the hopeful elect out there. Preaching the gospel across the four corners of the planet earth. You know. Being fishers of men. And doing the work and the will of Yahweh, In the name of Yahweh Shai. His only begotten son. Okay. And uh, sincere. Shalom or Salakia Shalom to you sincere Aquathium, you sisters that are um, subscribed to my channel as well. I want to give you uh, blessings and salutations as well um, within this uh, epistle, okay? And so um, before I get started, this is going to be a quick epistle, basically just a quick hit. Um, the title of this is going to be A Double Minded Man. Is unstable in all of his ways. Okay. Um, we know that the times that we're in right now, there are some very trying times, you know, especially within the spirit and especially when it comes down to the flesh. You know, um, the spirit warth against the flesh and we warth against the flesh daily. Okay. We press, you know, continuously. To try to make our calling and our election sure within the walk of ours, you know. Okay, so um, I'm just going to get some quick precepts and then I'm going to get out of the way. This is not going to be a very long, pre, uh, very long lesson at all. All right, so this is uh, the book of James. I'm going to start with uh, the book of James 1 and 8. I'm going to go back here and then I'm going to start right... Uh, Actually, you know what? I'm going to start at James 1 and 6. And it says, But let him ask in faith. Actually, I'm going to start up. I'm going to start up. I'm going to start up at... Uh, I'm going to start at verse 4. Okay, it says, This is James. Uh, James 1 and 4. It says, But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire... And it... Oh, Salakia. Let me start over. This is James 1 and 4. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Okay? If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given, it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Okay, so I'm going to expound on that word, nothing wavering, okay? Because, you know, when it comes down to faith, you have to be spot on when it comes down to your faith. You can't be wishy-washy when it comes down to the, the word of the Most High, okay? And w within your, your walk in this thing of ours, okay? You have to be sure. You have to make your calling and your election, sure, you have to be fully persuaded in your own mind that this is the route and this is the way and this is the 100% truth. This is what you follow. There can't be no, well, you know, I believe this, but I kind of want to believe. It. No, there can be no doubt in your mind. Absolutely. What if no ands, ifs, buts or about it? It has to be yay. You got to let your yay be your yay and your nay be your nay when it comes to this truth. Okay, brothers? Sisters, same thing. Okay? So we're going to read that. We're going to read this passage again. All right? This is James 1 and 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High that giveth to all men liberally and abradeth not. And it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith. And what is faith? Okay. Faith is the substance or the hopes of things that are not seen. 
And I'm loosely paraphrasing right now. Okay? But let him ask in faith nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he had that he shall receive anything of the Lord because a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Exactly. OK, you can't you can't have this this double minded mentality. You can't think one way and do another or you can't be one way. And then and then think of another you you just it, it it just doesn't work it's an abomination okay so i mean that's with everything that you do within your own walk you know everything has to line up everything has to match and if you're outside of this you're gonna fail man it's just as simple as that okay you can't that I mean it's basically plain because if you're not if you're not sure about what you're doing or about what what you know your choices that you're making oh well guess what <laughs> if you can't make up your mind well guess what you know even even the natural man if you're sitting there and you can't make up your mind on what which way you want to go you know, it's going to cause confusion and it's going to cause strife and contention amongst brethren and amongst people that you know. OK. That's where you get the whole the whole idea behind make up your mind. Which way are you going to go? OK, it'll make people lose pay, uh, lose patience when it comes down to you and your decision, you know. The number one thing that you have to understand that is the Lord is timeless. So the Lord has all the time in the world, but you don't because you are a mortal man. You're here on you're here on borrowed time. OK, so if you decide to just say, oh, all right, I'm going to do this thing, I'm going to say this thing and I'm going to do another. Well, basically, you're just being hypocritical, you know. That's 